Hi everyone, my light warrior friends. How are you guys today? We are venturing through, as usual, some very intense waves of energy. Uh, it is uh, definitely requiring us to remain cognizant of the fact that this is a process that we are all going through collectively here. A lot of people are coming on board with some big changes and big shifts. A lot of people not knowing what is happening. If they haven't really done research and investigation into this, it can catch you off guard as there it just seems like your life is falling out from underneath you. And it is because the universe is telling you it is time for a change. It is time to take a deeper dive into aspects of self. Um, definitely to take a, a larger ownership of your destiny and to make a bigger awareness of the guidance system that exists within you and around you that you may not have paid attention to. So knock, knock, intuition calling here. And boy, I'm telling you, the energies are Wowzers, I know there's some individuals that uh, are around me that um, are not uh, aware of these energies and are experiencing ascension sh symptoms um, and not knowing what is happening and uh, have a lot of anxiety and fear because that is really the energy um, of the times right now collectively and it is, uh, you can just, you can just feel um, the trepidation and wonder about what is going on. And I know all of you are understanding aspects of this journey and aspects of self. And it's a very interesting time energetically. A big energy on the table right now is holding back. And it's a very interesting holding back waiting for something to happen, waiting for something to transpire, waiting. It's like uh, we are hooked on this waiting game. It's like it's going to happen tomorrow, next week. So there's this, there is this dual energy that's happening. One is we are working in flow. We are working on our, our mastery of learning about ourselves of learning how uh, these past energies have programmed us in certain ways, have buried it very deeply, have been ingrained in us. And we're, we're um, learning about that. It's clearing. It's giving us a higher uh, vibrational frequency, which a lot of us are feeling. Um, many people are going through this, which is why these energies are really going through the roof and it's a very cool thing even with the Schumann out we know uh, these energies have not let up so don't let that fool you but uh, there's so there's this aspect of flow of higher self of knowing that we are moving in the right direction letting go of the unknown that all these changes um, are happening for a reason and it is uncomfortable because it's a different way of being and operating we are shifting on a huge magnificent scale here so it's changing a lot of our old habits and patterns people coming and going sleep patterns everything basically everything so we have to remain open in the flow and to really surrender to the process yet create in our reality uh, be very very cognizant of what you're spending your energy on focusing on this is so super important because there is a lot of a messy energy out there and it is really wanting your time and attention deep dark holes sometimes uh understanding energy at um both levels so there is without uh, the dark there is no light we have to remember that this is all about balance we need that contrast but we don't need to stay there we need to recognize it for what it is and understand its existence um, and we need to remember that our energy is the, how we create in a collective level so to move into this this new energy this new environment call it what you will new earth 5d 
Um, this is what we're collectively moving for, forward into this uh, brand new sense of self-awareness, of connection to a higher energetic space, to the organic world in which we actually live in, to the earth, to animals, and to the universe at levels never seen before. And this is magnificent. So what is holding us back? It is this energy still of of um, resistance, of holding back, of not pushing f f for fear, of stepping out of bounds, stepping out of boundaries, not pushing yourself really into doing things that move us out of our comfort zone. And I'm personally um, aware of that too. I I tend to um, be a little bit more conservative on that side. Um, although I know I'm extremely strong to even be here and alive after um, a very, 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 very exhaustive experience and self-transformational journey, which I'm going to definitely talk more about because a lot of you are new and don't really understand that part of my story. But um, again, stepping out of comfort zone is... Um, Something that we're all being asked to do here at all at all levels. So that holding back energy is changing and shifting as we start really this process of embracing what is possible, our limitless capabilities, our true potential of who we are. And oh, another big one is the illusion. What is this is such a strong, strong message. I'm sure it's not a surprise to a, a lot of you, but boy, has this message been hitting hard, is what is the illusion? What is it we are made to believe is true, and in fact, it is not true. It is an illusion being created by our own egoic mind and held onto collectively. And, I mean, this takes me back to the feeling I had when I was in a narcissistic relationship. And it was a game played to create an illusion of the mask of who this individual really was. And it was all based on lies, deception, and manipulation. Um, but it is truly believed. It, I mean, they can, it, it can reach you at your most emotional, sensitive um, part of yourself and this is where you know when somebody is able to tap into those buttons those uh, those most vulnerable parts of you which anybody in a healthy relationship will embrace and never manipulate uh, those who are not out for your highest good and potential will use that against you and they'll make you believe they care when in fact they're only looking out for their own energy and it can be very deceivious because they're relying on yours uh, because they don't have the gift and potential that exists within you but I'm making a correlation here to this illusionary world we're, we're living in and how we can be convinced over time by repetitive messages that it is in fact the illusion is real. And I know this sounds kind of out there for some people because until you really get into this journey, this thing about illusion and life itself and the meaning of it is like uh, sounds woo woo wacko and it's totally fine if you if that is your belief system. But this thing about um, what is truth and what is illusion is such an interesting topic area. And one of the big energies is the fact that illusionary things that have happened to many of us. So there's specific and most of the people I think that follow me are going to understand this. But there's this uh, uh, clearing of energy coming through on illusion on um, things we have learned throughout our journey that are hitting us now as being part of our learning experience, but very, very, um, we worked through some very, very uh, dark and uh, deceivious, and I want to say almost evil energy there, um, that was trying to hold us back because we are, in fact, way more powerful than any of us ever believe. So please never, never forget that about yourself. Um, but we're starting to see uh, flashes of really, again, the veil even getting thinner of 
understanding why certain things happened in our past, whether it be with people or careers or experiences, but we're now getting flashbacks on these were all part of um, the lessons we critically needed to learn here to really keep us um, aware of our mastery. And sometimes we only, here's an example, uh, we only have gratitude for things when we are forced to not have them. And um, boy, oh boy, you have a much better appreciation of simple things when you are not, uh, when you don't have them for a long period of time. So, I, you know, remember this, but uh, oh my goodness, illusion is coming through. And something something pretty funny I don't know I've been you know I don't watch television but sometimes I, I you know need something other than just thinking about all of this stuff all the time but I started watching um, Star Trek and uh, the original series I don't know why I, I really don't know why I just thought it would be kind of a throwback uh, funny thing to learn, but it's actually fascinating. The first few episodes are really all about um, illusion and uh, mind control. So uh, I guess that's uh, just another sign that um, illusion is something that is really big. Well, uh, we know it's big. There's a few planetary alignments here. We know it's really big on the table. And then what are we being stubborn in? What are we what are we not wanting to see? So, yeah, that is a big big energy. Uh fear-based uh, of course thinking is really really prevalent right now. And oh, it is so incredibly bad for our frequency for our physical body that um, is just worry and fear thinking is such a lower uh, freak uh, such a will lower your frequency to a very 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 large degree let me tell you if you um, sit in that area if you sit in that space um, it is definitely not a good thing for your health so uh, it's really important right now to really watch what, again, I'm going to, rep I'm repetitive because it is the rhetoric that is driving a lot of the show right now. So again, once again, just watch what uh, you are uh, absorbing. It's uh, just a fascinating, beautiful uh, journey here. We don't know what's around the corner. Uh, we do know obviously that something really big is happening there's big shifts and big changes we do know that there's so much more to us than meets the eye we are opening up our quantum third eye here we are investigating and reaching into our pure limitless potential and boy it is uh, a powerful very very powerful powerful thing We've been in, you know, engaged in years and years and years of distraction, of um, of fear-based thinking, of of programming beyond beyond the mind's concept of how much we have formed in our brains uh, around things that are in fact true or really aren't really part of um, our true selves here so the energies are doing a lot there's a lot happening a lot of clearing going on a lot of insight it is definitely and continues to be an epic journey here and wow so that's really my notes uh, for today and um, Let's just uh, keep going, Light Warriors. I know it's an epic journey. It's requiring a lot from us, but uh, keep working on that mastery because it is, uh, it's actually unbelievable. Okay, guys, thanks very much, and we'll definitely talk soon. Bye.